Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along my friend, for it's our last refrain. Forever young, never strong. Harry, we're ready for our boat. Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away, so we got a little hat by my side mm. and what are we doing this evening we're going to the theater <laughs> I yeah the theater the theater 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 yeah. but we are a little bit early so we're heading to the theater is the vaudeville on the strand but it's really close to covent garden so we're going to come and look at the lights because i haven't actually seen them since they've all been turned on I'm so excited to see what they've done. It'll be nice to see how they're decorated. Yeah, me and Kat both love Christmas. I'm kind of glad we're here a bit earlier as well. We literally earlier had a like a big Thai Chinese and then fell asleep. Oh God, I thought we weren't going to make it tonight, but we pulled through. Look how big that is. Watch the fuck. So, but, oh my God, it's so cute. worst way in the past week I'm not gonna lie I've been really stressed about um, my family and making sure to check in and um, I've spoken about it a few times but my granddad's been really ill we got told some like awful news last Christmas and he is still fighting on which is just incredible but it's just really really hard I've never had to see someone like see someone that that close to me go through something so awful as cancer so i've always i've had members of my family who have re been really have really struggled and fought it and battled it and um came out the other side yeah my granddad is literally like one of the most one of the most incredible people i will ever know so yeah it's really shit like watching such like an innocent like lovely person go through something so so awful I actually hate how much I cry like at the minute like it's really 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 bad at like keeping my emotions in and it just all comes out like even I never like mean to make like the mood sad but it just like comes out and I've been trying to like get through this week I think when I was at home and stuff like I tried to like put on like a mask and be there for everyone and then since I've come back to London, I've sort of like processed all my emotions and it's like all come out this week and I'm like literally crying at everything. And then I got really upset yesterday because basically my brother got scammed um, with the tickets that he bought my dad for his birthday. And like my dad was so excited and he's been going through a lot of stuff because obviously my granddad um, is ill and that's his dad. And he's been going through obviously a lot of stuff and he was like so excited for his like Tottenham game at the weekend. It's like the first time he'd gone in like 10 years or so. Taking his friend and he's literally so buzzing and he got all the way to the stadium, literally travelled from my home all the way to the stadium. And then the tickets were like like... My brother had been scammed of the tickets so like my dad had to travel all the way back home and it was like something that was like helping him get through and i literally have just been an emotional mess this week so hopefully this vlog will be the change of my happiness and keep me distracted to be honest because i feel like that's what i need at the minute i've been working this morning 
I watched my ass off last night, literally was working for ages because Friday I was bed bound for my period. Saturday I was having the best time with Hattie. Hattie from uni, if you guys remember, she came over. By the way, if this looks like a weird colour, it's basically a matcha latte, just in case anyone's confused. Yeah, Hattie came over for the weekend because we'd booked six the musical, literally in July or something. So we went to watch that, which was amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna insert some clips that I took. I've taken some while I, while I was at home. While I was at home, when I've come back, just little bits and pieces but I didn't really feel um in the right headspace to like sit and properly chat until sort of now so yeah I will show you what I've been up to in these next clips because I filmed them for a reason they were good recommendations so I actually went to see Heather's the Musical in Milton Keynes with my family it was an early Christmas present from my auntie it was amazing when I came back I headed to Cockball in Soho with Carrie we went for a Christmas festive meal it was decorated so beautifully the terrace is amazing we shared this incredible plate of starters that had like halloumi fries chicken wings and then i had a half cock and mash for my dinner and carrie had a burger and chips it was stunning and then back to monday morning here we are i've been sat in my pajamas going through my emails taking things off my to-do list speaking to my manager because tonight i've got a really really exciting thing happening which is making me super anxious but i I've been invited to, I don't know why, I'm literally baffled. I've been invited to the Andrew Lloyd Webber Cinderella Gala performance with the Mal Malala Fund, which is something I'm so passionate about. If you don't know Malala, I'm, one, I'm super confused, um, and two, get to know her because she has been fighting for women's rights, education, teaching women to lead and learn um, from the age of 10. Like, she's literally been through it and does so many incredible things for women all around the world so Andrew Lloyd Webber has partnered with her and is donating 100% of the funds made from tonight's show to 100% to the Malala Fund which I think is just so so kind and generous so yeah I'm going to that performance tonight and apparently it's a red carpet which they keep emailing me about and I am literally shitting myself I've never been to anything like this before I've never been to a gala performance obviously I've never been on a red carpet obviously but I'm obviously very grateful I just I'm confused and none of my dresses have arrived that I was gonna pick from so that's an issue I might have to run out and try and find somewhere to get a dress if not because being a red carpet I feel like I can't wear any of my short dresses because that's just not appropriate it's not the biggest dress in the world but I just feel really anxious because it's like my first time doing anything like that I know it's not the end of the world or anything but um yeah I just I just want to do it right and feel com confident and comfortable in myself so I'm gonna drink the rest of my matcha go and sit outside because it's actually sunny and then get ready for the day so me and Carrie are gonna go out shoot some bits that we need to get done and then I'll be getting ready for the gala performance a little bit later, yeah. I hope you're all doing well. And sending love to any of you who are feeling low and not your usual self. This close to Christmas, like, is getting closer. And it's, like, making me feel a bit sick this year. I don't know why. Like, I love Christmas as well. And it's just making me feel a bit ill this year. Love to you all. Speak to you in a bit. Hopefully when I'm in a smiley mood and me and Carrie are walking to go grab a coffee or something. <laughs> This is over. Me and Carrie have just come out to shoot outfit numero uno. Yeah, yeah, we've both no got boots coffee on. Yeah, we need to go grab a coffee, I think. We we'll um, did a shoot on no coffee, I think that could be a first. Yeah, we'll true. my no coffee shoot virginity. <laughs> and we're we going to get into more casual outfits now, aren't we? Because we're a bit, a bit glam -ful. glammy. Oh, it's two. I was going to say for 10am in the morning and it's two. It's two o'clock, yep. But yeah, shoot successful. We're both filming some reels and got a couple of pics as well. And we found a new spot as well. Really nice. Really nice too. little spot. Charlotte will insert the picture because she loves to insert into the videos. I love doing that in my spare <laughs> time. Oh, look at the sky. It's so lovely today, Leah. Thank you. Blue, blue, blue. Make okay. little Bella. We'll catch up with you when we shoot like this. this. Aww. What if I just yanked it out? Oh, I love this. <laughs> Cute on the terrace. Danger. Men working overhead. Oh, yeah, nice. that to be oh. fair, that is quite oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Outfit number three, I forgot to do number two, didn't I? Aww. Sorry about that. But to be fair, mine was pretty similar. because I was, um, was just discussing how lovely the colours were from my hat, bag and jumper and just realised they were all pull and bear. So we'll clearly a reason. Um, I thought I'd get a nice little winter cap because all my other, other ones were like quite bright coloured. We're going to head back now. It is. 
We're gonna head oh, back we're now. Oh, oh, like oh, 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 right. So we are all ready to go. I'm in this like green satin dress from Chi Chi London. Um, none of the dresses I ordered arrived on time, so I've had to find this, but I actually haven't worn it before yet from Chi Chi. I completely forgot about it. I've got some like gold jewelry with like some green accents. To and yeah, I really like it. It's got like a sweet little neckline and there's like a little tie here. I'll probably show you at some point, but I think me and Carrie are going to get an Uber now to the theatre. It's at the Gillian Lynn Theatre on Drury Lane, so that's where we're heading. It's kind of rush hour, so I'm hoping that the traffic's not too bad. Guys, me and Carrie are freaking out. This is the Gillian Lynn Theatre and we're just about to go grab our tickets. It looks a little bit crazy. It's chilly. I kind of need it though because I feel like I'm about hyperventilating slash heating up everywhere. So right, so we're blue because of this up here. But look at how insane. I'm just gonna put my seats out. We're in this like really cool theatre. Like I've never been in one like this before. Really but apparently it's going to move. So I can't believe this. Look how amazing these seats are. We're in C and we're in like just off centre as well. A little bit of a crazy experience being like the first thing like this. We've got little programmes, got little bags down here. But yeah, we're so excited for the show. Mm -hmm. Do you know, since we've moved to London, I haven't been to the theatre yet. I know. And I haven't been to the theatre since never... COVID. And I've never been to the theatre since you, so I can't ask the Ruby Tinnity to go into yeah. London. Yeah. We've, we've never been to the theatre together. Yeah. And we saw it. And we saw Andrew and we're third row. One, two, the section of the row. Thank you, Andrew, for giving me the opportunity to be here and to speak here. Uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us in this special performance of Cinderella. Today's uh, show to the work that we are doing for girls' education, especially focusing on refugee girls. And, you know, Andrew already expressed his own... Got into some cosy clothes. I need to take my makeup off. But, oh my God, wow. That performance was literally insane. Like, if you're looking for a good musical, that's something a little bit different, um, Andrew Lloyd Webber has created, like, the most insane, like, modern twist with this Cinderella musical where it's like romance comedy characters are just amazing like half of it is like similar in ways and it has like the main storyline of cinderella but it's just like so modern i can't get over it i want to go back and watch it so badly carrie hope fletcher was cinderella and she was fucking insane like, just her voice is amazing as always the guy who was playing sebastian the main like male lead was incredible and i saw on instagram that he'd actually won an award which is no surprise. It was like so crazy. I'm still confused as to why I got invited to that. Um, along with so many amazing other like people, actors, actresses, celebrities, like people who have like performed in shows like this, um, that were there. And I saw, oh my god, I saw afterwards that Samantha Barks was there, and she's literally like one of my favourite like actresses in the West End. And I was like. <clears throat> I can't believe she was sat in the audience as well. Please, if you're ever there and you're wanting to get like really good seats, the stalls first, I think third, fourth and fifth row would probably be the best. And we were like in the middle as well. You'll see some of like Andrew Lloyd Webber's and Malala's speech from the vlog. And they ended up auctioning off this like painting um, from this Afghanistan, the first Afghanistan street artist. She, well, they were auctioning one of her paintings and it got and it sold for £21,000 which is going to the Malala Fund which is just mad. The front bit of the stalls rotates like as the second act started we started rotating and we ended up going to like the back of the stage like sat in our seats. It's literally the weirdest thing ever like I felt like I was in a weird fever dream. I've never had anything experienced like it. It was so immersive if you're in those seats at the front. So like when they, it's like all ballroom dancing and everyone's like dancing on stage and we're like rotating round so that we're it suddenly becomes like a theatre in the round for the people. And I will be taking back my family to watch that because it's so good like I want to watch it over and over again. The soundtrack is amazing. Maybe, maybe I'll just go to bed and listen to my body, Jane. <laughs> it has been an emotional morning. Just going through a lot of shit. I struggle to open up about stuff like online these days because there's so much judgment from people I find. Like when I first was vlogging like at uni and stuff, I was so much more open and like sharing my feelings, thoughts, what's going on in my personal life. But I just feel like very vulnerable. Like, 
over the past like year or I've got to get on with it so I'm just about to maybe hop in the shower I don't even know if I can be bothered to go in the shower like I just feel you know it gets bad when you start like not taking care of yourself like if you've ever gone through like a mental health blip like I know that I'm getting worse and I should probably do something about it because I'm starting to like not care about what I look like and I'm actually gonna go see my friends today we're going for a nice lunch at a place called Arros Hudi in central uh, I think Dave's gonna be there Ellie's gonna be there um, and Carrie's going as well so it'll be nice to spend the day with my friends as a distraction I think from sitting in my room and being in my head so yeah I'm gonna surround myself with my friends today do some nice stuff oh, I was actually meant to be in Paris today guys but um, everything's been a little bit delayed. Well, I'm going to Paris in December, like really close to Christmas because it's my cousin's 30th and she wanted to do something crazy. And I was like, fuck it, I'll come with you to Paris. Like, why not? We booked eight, like a while ago now. Um, but I'm actually going to Paris with work. I was supposed to be going today to Thursday, but it's being postponed, I think, to next week. And then I'm also going to Germany with work in December. So yeah, that'll be like my first like proper like travel work. So I'm hoping that that gets all confirmed and stuff today because that'll make me so happy. I feel like that'll definitely bring my spirits up. I just love a change of scenery and exploring a new place. I know I've been to Paris before, but it'll be like Christmas market stuff that I'll be showing you guys. And I'll obviously be vlogging the trips too, so. <laughs> um, my personal was passing out Saturday <laughs> and Liam didn't get any symptoms until Wednesday. COVID chat. <laughs> So we're at Amos for a gorgeous lunch. Um, Ellie's about to try out the Molden Rock oysters. Brave it for the vlog. Thoughts and feelings. Your turn? I don't think I can do it. Dave, you oh no, you can't. You're, he's allergic to She wants to kill me because <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic. Two people on the table are allergic to oysters. And I've never had one, so who knows? Am I going to be just like... What do you do if I just threw that all down your toes? Like so I would say, let's play it again. <laughs> Biggest girl boss in town, Jack Taylor. Get off to the Mandrake Hotel for a Miss Pap event. Um, I can't believe I look like this. Yeah, we're just heading to there now for a little Miss Pap event, and they're actually doing makeup there, which is kind of handy considering me and Carrie have come out makeup free today. So. so, Neve's just done my makeup, and it literally looks insane. Tuesday evening now we're back from Miss Pap event me Jack and Carrie went to go grab some dinner afterwards sorry about my messy life at the minute like literally my bed I was just like lying in bed with all of that shit on it because I can't bother to move it because I'm in like this horrible depression pit makeup Neve underscore 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 on Instagram she did my makeup at Miss Pap and it's literally stunning. Like I love the fluffy brows. I love how she's done my eye makeup and it's like really like lifted my eyes. Dewy, stunning, glowy skin. I'm kind of gutted that I'm not going out tonight. Not that I would really need to. I'm really trying to avoid as much alcohol as I possibly can. Um, and like evening events and stuff like that because I think it will really get me like spiraling into the worst. I wish I was like even like filming or creating content this evening but it's way too late now because I really don't want to take this makeup off but I'm gonna jump in the shower wash my hair I think that's gonna make me feel like really relaxed and hopefully get a better night's sleep than last night right so it is Wednesday Wednesday morning and I'm off to townhouse on Great Portland Street I believe I'm off to go meet the people at Sock Shop they're hosting at townhouse Fitzrovia today for pedicures so I thought that would be a nice little treat to go get a little pedicure. So yeah, I'm off there now. It's bright and early. It took me a lot to get up because I couldn't sleep last night. She's still in my head, my head. I am just heading back home now. I've got a little sock shop parcel that I'm going to unbox when I get back. And um, just to see what they have given me inside. But 
It was absolutely lovely. I definitely recommend if you're in Central and you're looking for somewhere to get like manicures or pedicures, because all of the places I had recommendations for were a little bit further out, either north or south. Um, but yeah, if you're in Central for the day, great place, lovely staff, amazing at what they do. And I wanted like a dark color for my toes. I thought it'd be nice and Christmassy slash wintry. And all of the names were like London roads. And I found mine and Carrie's road on there. And I was just like, I'm like a psycho. Cause I was like, ah, oh, do I just get it? Because it's like the, our road name. No, that's just stupid because I didn't even want that color at all. I went for Savile Row in the end, in case anyone ends up going there. It's like a really, really dark, like, purpley brown uh sort myself out and then i'm actually going to meet one of my friends from back home for brunch i haven't seen her in literally ages but i think she's moving to paris for a bit so i wanted to see her before she goes so they've given me a pair of these red socks which i literally was like oh i love them when i walked in we've got some like really fun santa socks gonna lie making my mood happier oh my god on the way back i have filmed a little clip i'm gonna pop it here there was a woman walking six dogs and they were all like different sizes diff completely different breeds and i was like that is literally me next year honestly i feel like i'm gonna have a breakdown can't wait for that to happen to me but it literally made my day yeah anyway i feel like this is also going to bring my spirits up wearing these everywhere and then i've also popped in some other bits we've got some pop sock pringle pop socks got a full volume upswing mascara never heard of that brand before i'm excited to try i've got ole hendrickson sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer love trying out a new moisturizer because i've got dry ass skin and then they've sent me a um huda beauty lip liner and lipstick we've got the diamond oh diamond balm sparkly lip balm I lied um, and then we've got a lip um lip contour lip pencil please one enclosed your premium lubricants from new sex care brand designed for modern sex lives rome so got some lube we love to see it <laughs> i was actually like oh what's the surprise package i've got like two like stunning bottles of lube for the front oh for the back and for the front i've got a letter for my ultrasound in december so we're gonna find out if i finally have endo or pcos which i'm sure i have either both or one of them um if you've been following my period, um, excruciating period pain stories for the past 12 years of my life. I met my friend Anna for lunch. It was actually so lovely to have a catch up with her before she goes away. She's moving to the Alps. I got a hot coffee on the way back because I want to do some work before this evening because me and Carrie are going to the Design Museum for um, an Amy Winehouse exhibition. It's just so nice and refreshing seeing old friends from home like people I miss loads and you know just having a good old catch up and a laugh which is what I needed and also to vent as well Anna's just amazing at uh, um, dealing with my emotions so it was really nice to talk to her and like be able to open up and speak to a friend that's like very understanding of like the current situation that I so next stop of the day we're heading to the design museum to go see Amy Winehouse Beyond the Stage. Um, it's a little exhibit dedicated to Amy's, like, I think it's like says creativity and her just like life and work and stuff. Next to Holland Park entrance there. Uh, we've got an hour in there and then we're going to East London tonight. So the Amy Winehouse, um, exhibition was amazing so wasn't it it was kind of sad in just, some ways yeah, but like, yeah. also i think it didn't really focus on a lot of the obviously like awful parts of her life it was more like appreciation of her yeah, music yeah, yeah. and like, like inspiration like, fashion yeah it was, it was like, very cool to celebrate her life rather than like went to into like yeah. you know, the downfall then, of like her like there was some like really cool like like pages from her like books where she's like written down lyrics and stuff as yeah. well which is cool all her like old notebook dress had like love hearts like strewn all over them and then on one of the plaques did you see it, it said um this like was really resembles like the tattoo she ends up getting on her arm and that was like, oh, that's so weird like, so cool yeah and i noticed as well that you know you were saying about the don't take pictures of certain bits we were yeah, trying to work yeah, out yeah. where we could take photos because they said we could but then there was like some signs um, I think it's the ones that are like the pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably because they don't want them on the internet and stuff, because that's probably like the exhibition part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rather part. than like the BBC videos like, and stuff that you can actually yeah, like Google. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes so much sense. Um, we're in Oldgate. Yeah, um, and we're just about to head to Cockball, which we actually went to. I never vlogged it. I think it was last last week. I think a week today. No. The launch of the one in Cockfields, because we were at the one in Soho the other day. So. It's like a party. Yeah, so we're gonna have food party. 
Those TikToks and they go like, oh, tonight I think Miss Charlotte Price is the most drunk. Can what? I have the lip one? Ellie is the most, most drunk tonight. Who can make it to the bar in two minutes? Let I'm me just in a cheeky mood. That's making me feel a bit sick. Heartbreaks and promises. I got more than my share. I'll take you on a vlog, don't worry, guys. I need somebody who really cares. Where's Charmaine? See, this is her vlog. Behind the scenes, God, guys, I bet you've been dreaming for this. If it's you who's leaving the bitch in comments, I don't know who I'm talking about. Yeah. It was nice catching up with you, but I've got a mountain full of stairs. Look. Mountain.